Hey guys, before the video starts, I just want to take this moment to say that today's episode is brought to you by Slate Chocolate Milk. Slate Milk has partnered up with the Technoid Show to deliver to you guys not only the healthiest chocolate milk money can buy you, but personally the best chocolate milk on the market. Slate is not only lactose free, low on carbs at one gram and only two grams of sugar, but it's packed with 20 grams of protein for a nice post workout and also, as I said before, lactose free. So, I want to take this moment to thank Slate Chocolate Milk for being a part of the Technoid Show. Head on over with the affiliated link in the description. Pick out of one of the three flavors they have, either mocha, dark chocolate, or classic as I have. And be on the lookout because they are launching two new flavors. Once again, thank you to Slate Chocolate Milk for being a part of the show and for today's episode. Ah boy, chargers, 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 and chargers. You can't live without them, you can't live with them, and most importantly, you can't get enough water. And nowadays, the charger market is starting to get oversaturated with tons of new competition and new competition coming out every day. But a lot of few companies have been ramping up and improving the quality of their chargers to stand out from the rest. And the biggest thing right now is GAN technology, G-A-N, or gallium nitrate. And this particular type of technology has been adapted not only by third party manufacturers, but slowly even first party. But today we have to take a look at a brand new charger that comes from Slim Q, which if you don't know anything about Slim Q, you're gonna find out in this episode, which they not only make a very powerful and very stable charger, but also one of, if not the most portable 65 watt chargers with GAN technology that money can buy. All of that on today's episode, so stay tuned. So this is the Slim Q 65 watt gallium nitrate charger. Or for people that don't know the word, I'm just gonna call it the GAN or GAN, whatever you wanna call it, G-A-N charger. Now, Slim Q has been on the market for quite a while now. They make some very high quality products, and this is another one, if I say so myself, another home run for them. Now, I've been looking at Slim Q products for a while, and this was a very kind uh, way to do this. Um, so I wanna say thank you to Slim Q for providing this for this video, and I appreciate them. But remember guys, with all the videos, as you know, they have no impact on my final thoughts and opinion, and this is just a real review on my testings from what I found, and also if I recommend it or not. Now, for the purpose of this video, I did stack it up against three different chargers. Now, in particular, we will focus heavily on the Aki 100 watt GAN charger. So these both use gallium nitrate charging technologies, but both of them have different things that I wanna talk about. And then of course, we'll compare them to Apple's, and then of course, Acefast, another company that also sent me out their products. So we'll compare them all out. So for starters, the first thing right off the bat is it this contains 65 watts of charging. So this is enough power to charge up a MacBook Pro, an iPad Pro, a laptop of equivalence with USB Type-C. It can even charge a 16 inch MacBook Pro with MagSafe. However, it will take a little longer as it is a lot bigger, does require more power, but this definitely does have the capabilities to charge it, but it will be a little slow. Now, in terms of portability and size, this thing is absolutely light and tiny compared to the Ace Fast. The Ace Fast is just maybe a hair, but they're both around the same area. Taking a look at the Aki, it's completely, definitely a lot smaller and actually weighs a lot less. And we'll talk about that in just a moment. And lastly, when you take a look at the Apple ones they give you, it's almost kind of surprising why Apple hasn't gone in on GAN technology but the difference is noticeable right here. Now, when it comes to versatility, this is where it comes with a 65 watt input for USB type C, and then of course you have a standard USB A connector. Now, this is a positive and a negative for me. A positive because they still keep the USB A for anybody that uses USB A, but a negative because I feel that most general consumers have finally adapted USB type C with their charging. So it would have been nice to have just had two USB C's on here, but honestly, I'm not gonna make a big fuss about it because USB-A is still used all over the world, so it's not like it's gonna get outdated anyway. Now, when it comes to the actual charge itself, I did compare them to all four of these, so we'll talk about that in just a moment. But starting off, the first thing I wanna address is the heating. Now, with GAN technology, it can help with heating dissipation. What it means is that a majority of the heat will be through the brick and your devices stay nice and cool when it charges and also has overheat protection, surge protection, all those things built in. But one of the cool things that I liked about Slim Q compared to all the other chargers I've used, 
This one actually stayed the coolest out of all three that I used. The aux key got hot when I was charging my iPhone 12 Pro Max with the USB-C to lightning cable, which I have right here. I actually noticed it heated up just a little bit. With the Apple charger, I generally don't, but for testing purposes, it didn't actually really heat up, but I could feel a little bit of source of heat right in the center of the Apple logo. The Ace Fast, I used the 18 watt maximum charger that they recommended, and it still heated up just a little bit. But this one, on the other hand, no heat whatsoever, and my phone managed to stay nice and cool during the charge. When it comes to the MacBook Pro, this did heat up quite a bit, but it definitely didn't heat up as much as the Aki. Now, because both of them use gallium nitrate, you would think that they would both perform the same. Well, not necessarily, because I did use a USB-C to USB-C, this one, the Slim Q, managed to stay cooler and charge even though it was slower and a little longer compared to the MagSafe, it definitely remained at a nice temperature and my MacBook still remained very, very good. It didn't overheat, I didn't hear the fans going off. Whereas with this one, it started heating up more, but again, same thing. So this one, I would say out of the three chargers has better heat dissipation and it helps to keep the products cool. Now with the USB-A, I use that for my Soundcore sunglasses, which are Bluetooth, they are a smart device. So I just use that. And comparing wise, I mean, the only one that can really compare is the Ace Fast, which does give you three ports. So that is something to consider. But I will say that considering they're both 65 watts, this doesn't have gallium nitrate, you can actually feel the weight in this, and this one with gallium nitrate actually feels nice and light and more portable. Last thing to talk about before we wrap up and give my final thoughts is they do give you a power cord extender, which is actually a very nice gesture of them because right out of the box, you really just have this, but if you're gonna use it to charge a laptop and you wanna extend the charger, that's actually very good value right there. So props to Slim Q for providing that. So overall, what do I think of the Slim Q charger? Well, listen guys, I've been reviewing chargers for a while now, and I'm always interested to see what the competition brings. I'm always open to new things, but I have been dying to get my hands on a Slim Q charger, and I've always wanted to see how well they perform, and I'm here to tell you guys, these things perform very, very solid. The heat dissipation was excellent. The charging speeds were consistent across the board from all my devices that I tested with, which of course was a MacBook, iPad, iPhone, even my mom's Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. The heat dissipation was amazing. This thing handled it very well in comparison to the Ace Fast and also the Aki. The only thing that I think this charger does have over it is the versatility. It has three ports, and even though it isn't gallium nitrate, it can still charge almost as fast, but the heat is definitely an issue. Now, obviously, it's much better solution than Apple's because just look how heavy this thing is. And in comparison to Aki, they are very similar. Even though the Aki is slightly faster, it does heat up even more. So I will say from a performance perspective, from a test wise, this thing definitely outperformed the Aki and Ace Fast when it comes to heat dissipation and charging speeds. My only recommendation would be just to maybe add the third port, because I do see there is enough room here to add a third port. It would be more versatile, especially for a 65 watt charger. And also it has smart charge technology, so it'll be able to detect how much wattage goes into what. I definitely think that that's something they could do. But overall, it's definitely a very solid charger and it doesn't even cost that much. So definitely check over to slimq.com. I'll leave the link in the description. Check it out, and honestly guys, get your hands on a GAN charger. It definitely helps with coming with long-term support for your devices, but it also makes a big difference on the impact overall. So that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. If you disliked the video, you can hit the dislike button. That helps circulate my videos as well. As always, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next episode. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Take care, stay safe, have a good day, and peace.